upon the different type of environment and also take decision based on the existing model inside an agent. Once it has been transferred to this and the final action will be taken by the actuators or through the actuators again with the help of this condition. Based on the environment or the data or input from the environment is going to select the model. Dear students, welcome to computer science classes. I am Ravi Kumar Kiar, lecturer in computer science, Vidyashan Patil College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our discussion with the session two and of unit one. So in this session, we are going to talk about model-based reflex agents and goal-based agent. These are the topics to be covered in this session. Let us start with the definition of model based reflex agent. See this is a diagram. Look at the diagram here. As all of you know that, see this is the environment here and this is an agent here. So here in the agent, actually this is the sensors and actuators. It performs the action sensor. It percepts the environment or accept the data from the environment. And here, these are different component of agent here. And if you observe this diagram or you compare with the previous version of the simplest reflex agent. So here, there is one more component. This is extra in this model or in this model based reflex agent. In this type of agent, there is additional component here apart from condition action rules. This was there even in the simplex reflex agent. Now in this model based reflex agent, there is one more component that is state. Let us see how the, what is the definition of model based agent. The model based reflex agent is a type of intelligent agent in AI or in artificial intelligence that operate on the basis of simplified model of the world. So, the definition of this is going to act upon the simplified model or pre-existing model of the world. So this agent maintain an internal representation or a model of the environment that allows them to anticipate the consequences of their action. So this is a basic definition of model based reflex agent. So first is that is going to operate on simplified model or pre-existing model of the environment. So generally it is going to maintain or it has a component where it is going to have store different models or different algorithms for different types of environment and so that is going to act upon the different type of environment and also take decision based on the existing model inside an agent. So agent is going to take decision based on the percepts as well as depending on the model. So this is the basic definition of model based reflex agent. So if you look at the diagram now, understand in this example, this is the sensors and actuators and this is the state. So this is an additional component as I told you in the beginning and based on that is going to take decision. So if you compare this with the previous or that is simplex reflex agent. So this state is the additional component or additional program here. So it usually the sensors percept the environment and it going to take decision based on the state here, how the world evolves and what my action do. So here, based on the percept from the incensors, it going to take the action. And again, once it has been transferred to this and the final action will be taken by the actuators or through the actuators, again with the help of this condition. So in model based reflex agent, it has a predefined models for due of the environment or it will be having different types of algorithms or models for different types of 
percepts of the environment. So that is the basic definition of model-based reflex agent. Now let us see what are all the different components as we have seen in the previous diagram. One is sensors, you know that is going to percept the environment means is going to gather the information or in other words is interface between the agent and the surroundings or environment. It gathering the information on the environment based on the current state. And this can be physical, temperature sensors, or virtual means database API, providing data for decision making. So this is the function of sensors, is going to percept the environment, or, or in other words, we can say, it takes the data from the environment. It may be, data may be in different forms. Second component is internal model. See, this is a new component we are finding in model based reflex agent. So here it is the agent understanding of the environment and encompassing knowledge of dynamics, rules and potential outcome of the actions. So constructed from experience, sensory inputs and domain knowledge for reasoning and decision making. So he internal model this is a new component here and this is going to have a model or this model reflex agent will be having a predefined model and the model has been designed or developed based on the experience, based on his experience or nothing but history of the percepts and sensory inputs and knowledge of the environment and reasoning and decision making. So as per the definition of this, so this is a new component in this we can find the different models for different input based on the experience, history, or reasoning and decision making capacity. This is the second component. Next one is, you will see the reasoning component. So here, it uses information from the sensors and internal models to make decision. So this is how model-based reflex agent works. So if you compare this with the simplex reflex agent, so the simplex reflex agent is going to work with the current percepts or the data, but it is this going to work along with the current percepts as well as internal model. That is what we have seen in the previous slide. Next one is actuators. So what are actuators? And it is nothing but the actions will be taken place through the actuators. So here, this is nothing but effectors. The effectors or another name of this. So here effectors is going to translate decision into environmental changes, closing the agent perception cycle. So this is the function of this actuator. In the next slide, we'll see how it is going to work, this model. So first one is perception. The perception it means it receives the current state of the environment through the sensors and which provide the information about the current state such as the presence of obstacles, objects or other agents. So these are the different types of percept or input we get from the sensors. So this first step is perception. It percepts the environment. Then modeling the environment is nothing but based on the environment or the data or input from the environment is going to select the model as we have seen in this model reflex agent it's going to work based on the models existing model of different environment so based on this is going to develop the model or select the model based on the environment or percepts from the environment Next one is decision making. The decision making is based on the current perceptual and internal model of the environment. Action execution. So here the agent executes the action in the environment which may cause changes to the state of the world. So the action will be taken place or takes place through the action from the effectors. Next one is updating the model. This is also important concept here or the component. After taking an action, the agent updates its internal model of the environment 
based on the new perceptual information it receives. So in other words, we can say that it is going to record or store the different types of models which have been utilized or used for different types of environment, nothing but updating the model. So this is another component. In the next slide, we will see what are the applications of model-based reflex agent or where we are using this. So we are using it in robotics concept here. So it is to navigate through dynamic environments, avoiding obstacles and reaching specific destination. So robotics is going to work based on this. So if what are any obstacles or any while reaching the goal or destination, it's going to take decision based on the obstacle. Now gaming, AI. So another important application is AI, gaming in AI, in video games, AI op opponents, you just understand this, the AI opponents may use model-based reflex agent to anticipate the player actions and respond strategically. So if you are playing the game with uh, in the computer system, so your action is responded by the gaming software by using model-based reflex agent. So as we have seen that there are different types of models will be available. So it, it depends on the, the person who is playing the game. So based on his action, so this model-based reflex agent or a gaming software respond to the user. This is another application of model-based reflex agent. Next one is autonomous vehicles. So here self-driving cars rely on model-based agents to interrupt sensor data into making decision. So this is such as steering, accelerating and braking based on predicted future states of the traffic and road condition. So another application is this, that is autonomous vehicles. Next to industrial automation, in the automation to optimize the production process, predicting machine failures or material shortage. See, this is another application of model-based reflex agent. In the next slide, we will see another type of agent that is goal-based agents. So previously it was a model-based agent. So next one is goal-based agent. So what is the definition of this? So here, these are the AI agents that use information from the environment to achieve the specific goals. So here means it is going to perceive the environment and is going to achieve the goal based on a specific goal based on the percepts from the environment through sensors. They employ search algorithms to find the most efficient path towards the objective within a given environment. So it is nothing but is going to search for algorithms, means the algorithms are predefined programs to reach the particular goal or a specific goal. So by deploying or by using different search algorithm is going to select a particular algorithm in towards, towards their objective or towards reaching their goal. That is the definition of goal-based agent. This is a diagram now. If you observe the diagram here, this is an environment, percepts, actions and this is an agent and different components and here sensors and this is the decision algorithm and the state and here if you compare this with the previous diagram or with the model based agent and here this is the comments called goals. So this is the one of the component so it is goals. So in the previous one there it was something like and models. So this is the one difference in the diagram of goal-based agent as well as in model-based reflex agent. So this is a diagram. Now let us see the definition of goal-based agents. Now these agents are known as rule-based agents as they follow the predefined rule to accomplish their goals and take specific action based on certain condition. So this is the definition of goal-based agent here. So this is going to work based on rule-based agent and it is not models. So it is rule-based agents, they follow predefined rules. 
predefined roles to in reaching the destination or to achieve their goals they are going to follow predefined rules so and these rules based on certain condition so this is a definition of goal based agents and they are easy to design and can handle complex task so this is another advantage of using goal based agents here so we are using this model or this agents to solve complex problems and they can be used in various applications like robotics computer vision natural language processing that is nlp see these are different applications of goal based agents now let us see the functioning of the goal based agent see first one is perception when the agent perceives the environment using sensors and other input devices to collect information about the surrounding the first step is perceive the environment means data has to be accepted from the environment through sensors second one is reasoning the agent analyze the information collected and decide the best course of action to achieve its goal so reasoning is another component so based on the environment or analyzing the information collected from the devices or perception is going to take a right action next one is action the agent takes action to achieve its goal the purpose is to reach the goal or to achieve its goal so what would be the action maybe example like moving or manipulating the objects in the environment these are different types of actions next one is evaluation this is after taking action the agent evaluates its progress towards the goal and adjusts its action if necessary in the sense is going to work dynamically so based on or depending on the input or depending on the environment is going to take or adjust its actions next one is goal completion so here once the agent has achieved its goal it is either stops working or begin working on new goal so this obviously once the goal has been reached so that is going to stop executing or stop working or else it's going to work on new goal so this is the functioning of this goal based agent what are advantage of this so here simple to implement and understand next one is efficient for achieving a specific goal and easy to evaluate performance based on goal completion and it can be combined with other ai techniques to create more advanced agent so another plus point of this is that so it can be combined with other techniques to for different application of a different goals and it is well suited for well defined structured environment and it can be used for different applications such as robotics game ai and autonomous vehicle see these are the different applications of goal based agents and what are the drawback of this disadvantage is that limited to specific goal unable to adapt to changing environment it is though even though we have mentioned that is going to adapt changes but practically it is difficult now ineffective for complex task that have too many variables the other drawback is that and it requires significant domain knowledge to define goals i mean one should be expert in defining goals for different application these are the drawbacks of or disadvantages of goal based agents student so in this session we have covered the two types of agents one is model based reflex agent one is goal based reflex agent and this model based reflex agent it works on the take decision based on the predefined models available with the agents and in goal based models is going to work based on the percept from the environment and take decision and to reach a specific goal we will continue our discussion in my next session thank you so much